We just got a chance to drive a gasoline powered car. We've got uh, Brian Nunez here from Horizon Hobby and Losi, and uh, he brought out the LST XXL2 uh, all the way out here from California just to let us take it for a spin today. Um, this truck's really based off the LST XXL, um, but it's fitted with a completely different engine and ignition system. Absolutely. So, what you see here is the 5.1 cc gas engine. Um, 0.31 cubic inches, and uh, as Aaron kind of felt it today, I mean, it's got the power. So, what do you think? Uh, that was uh, what blew me away right away is that you know the engine looks pretty similar to what a nitro uh, engine would look like, other than the you know spark plug cable that's running from the ignition box to the head. Uh, but as you said before, it's the same case size as a you know a, a typical big block 28, 21 engine. Um, you know the pipe looks similar, but you did mention that the the inside of the pipe is different. Yes. So, like you said, the case is the same. The big difference with this engine is that the flywheel is significantly larger in diameter and wider in size. So that allows for different engine locations. So there is a little bit of modification to the chassis and the engine mounts for the double XL2. But the exhaust is different, like you said. A lot of people think that it sounds so much like a nitro must be a nitro exhaust. Well, it is a gas-specific um, exhaust. The difference is inside the baffling produces a completely different level of pressure that works alongside with our tank and our carburetor. Um, the carburetor is significantly different than a nitro design as well. It has a bladder type design, almost like a diaphragm, that really gives you that low end grunt, that awesome response that you felt on the trigger. And that was uh, one of the things I noticed right away. I mean, it, I thought that it would sound a little bit different. It sounded pretty similar to a nitro engine, but driving it, I mean, it really didn't feel any different, other than the fact that we were able to drive it for, you know, 20, almost 30 minutes without a refill. Exactly. So you still have the same clutch setup, same RPM. So the nitro fill is still there, but in a gasoline engine. So we're playing, instead of 40 bucks a gallon, you're playing a little bit over 4 bucks a gallon. So, and almost three times the fuel economy. So it's definitely, de definitely a huge advantage. And uh, we were talking a little bit earlier, you're in engineering school, mm -hmm. um, and this was really one of your first big projects. So how tough was it to go from, you know, really square one? This is, you know, the, the first gasoline engine that we've seen for, you know, a, a eight scale size vehicle. It was extremely difficult. The most difficult part about it was just getting such a small package and such high RPM. You know, all the friction that goes all along, making sure the pressures are correct. All, I mean, just fuel delivery. It, it was it was a very fun, but it was challenging. So, I mean, I have to give a big thanks to Adam. Adam Drake was a huge, Yuka Sinari, Todd Hodge. There's so many team members out there that helped me. It definitely wasn't all myself, but it was definitely a lot of fun. And how long have you been working on the gasoline engine project? It, this sort of snuck in under the radar. It, no one really knew that Lucy was working on something, and all of a sudden, Boom, hey, we've got this, you know, super awesome truck that we've had for years, but with a whole new mill. Right. The engine's been under development for about a year and eight months. Um, one of the funny things is we actually tested this at Revelation and other places where other consumers were there, and they were like, oh, just a night of the nitro engine. Nobody ever noticed anything. Nobody ever asked any questions. So it was awesome. But, yeah, it's been in development for about a year and eight months now. And uh, Dynamite's uh, ignition system is in here. Well, we've seen that used in a couple of different vehicles now. Uh, did you already have that, you know, ready to go, turnkey, drop in, we have an ignition system, or did you have to change that up and reprogram it to use with the smaller motor? We definitely did have to change that up. Um, the internal electronics and all the programming is different to handle the different, the smaller engine with a different RPM range. So it's definitely not a turnkey. It would definitely has some nice algorithms there as well. And uh, it's got the Spectrum DX2E uh, V3 radio system in it. And the uh, ignition system plugs straight into the radio. So uh, I noticed, you know, you flip the switch off, the engine died right away. Exactly. Um, and it's got, you know, an internal battery pack in there. Mm -hmm. uh, but it seems like just a, a system System that all works very well together. Absolutely. So you do have your DX, your DX2E with uh, your AVC system. So and that's all on the DSMR technology. And your CDI is plugged directly into the auxiliary port. So not only do you have AVC, which is an awesome feature, as you saw, um, it's a lot easier to handle the truck. You just have your. It takes your fun factor so much higher. And yeah, that's awesome. One of the cool things about it is you come. You, you're done running. You turn off the switch. The truck turns off. No more burning your finger on the stinger. No more plugging the car fuel line. It's really simple. It's a lot easier for the consumer. And uh, it was really a blast to drive. I mean, not it retained everything that you know, uh, you know, monster truck enthusiasts and backyard bashers have loved about the LST XXL. Uh, 
just with a lot longer run time. I didn't really, couldn't really tell it was a gasoline engine, but it does smell a lot better than the nitro fuel. So and the uh, gasoline engine seemed like a pretty seamless transition for the monster truck. And uh, right when I saw the fresh release on this thing, my first thought went to, this, this could potentially change what we now call nitro racing. I mean, this could change it forever. How long do you think it's going to take for you know gasoline technology like this to invade you know what we now call nitro racing? Hopefully not long. I mean, we definitely have the same power, man. We have more reliability. Ease of use is a lot better. Um, and we have done some testing, and initial, initial testing was done in a truggy. And, um, you know, Adam had a blast with it. We were battling at Revelation Raceway a few times. So, I mean, I hope soon. I think, I think uh, once this gets out to the consumers and the consumers really see, wow, this does have the potential they see it from themselves, they'll start modifying their existing A-scale platforms to come out there and start club racing and potentially, hopefully next year, we start running some gas engines out here. Yeah, I hope that can't happen fast enough. I, I hope that happens right away. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah. 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 Yeah.